Well, I got something real exciting to tell you, something to show you. Been a long time coming, been working on it for uh, quite a while. And we're going to start outside the house and then I'll give you a breakdown of exactly what happened here. What a beautiful sight. If you've been following us, you know that I've been working on the laundry room. So this is the vent for the dryer and it is above ground level so it means that the dryer is upstairs and not downstairs anymore so i started on this project in january um did uh all the electrical uh, all the plumbing all the uh, carpentry and i mean i didn't work on it every day since january it's been uh, eight months basically and of course I have other things to do like work and uh, I have other projects that I have to get involved in around here so it's not that it took me that long as a, as a one-time job working on it full-time it's just that it took me that long and doing everything else I'm sure that you can relate if you have a house or if you just have a real busy life. However, um, started in January, I did the plumbing first, and that took a while. Um, the, uh, like I said, the, the laundry room is, was currently in the basement, and the basement's just an unfinished basement, so uh, made it access to doing all of this much easier um, with it being unfinished but uh, the plumbing um, I have guessed um, materials because I, I did the work so I would say that the uh, materials for this plumbing portion was about uh, $350 and that includes a, we got a, a vanity and a, a, you know a mirror and that's all included as part of plumbing now the vanity and the mirror were roughly about oh uh, and the faucet because the faucet doesn't come with a vanity you go figure so that that was about 300 let's see no 250 dollars of the 350 so the actual plumbing just the rough plumbing itself wasn't that expensive we're talking about a hundred dollars or so um and and this is this is this is a, this is rough estimates the electrical was was around 200 uh, and then the the carpentry the the wood that I bought and 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 such wasn't very much it was surprisingly high just because we got uh, the the better wood the you know cabinet style uh, shelving wood and that stuff's pretty expensive but and uh, and so so with everything included the project ended up costing me just under a thousand dollars so I'm real pleased because um, I had I had kind of a guess at what it would cost and I was thinking about half that um, maybe 600 or so but um, it, it turned out so well it's 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 just amazing how how well this project actually came together and the difference in doing your laundry uh, upstairs versus downstairs is, is so well worth it and it will just get more valuable as the years go by because we're getting older and and you know uh, there's a lot less chance of you know trying to carry your load of laundry upstairs or downstairs and have any kind of issues so uh, it'll it'll pay for itself in in, in, in the long run easily uh, that, but back to the cost uh, it was like I said just under a thousand dollars total um, I roughly guesstimated that it was you know 350 on the plumbing side uh, probably about uh, 300 on the electrical side and that's six and then it was about 200 on the on the uh, uh, carpentry side so um, 
the uh, so the so the plumbing actually would have had to gone up by another hundred dollars or so. The plumbing was the most expensive just because, like I said, the vanity and the the uh, faucet it was a, it was a good chunk of change. So anyway, uh, I just know that by <laughs> that the grand total was exactly that. So um, how it broke down, I know that, that electrical was was not as expensive as the plumbing but we didn't buy anything really all that jazzy for the electrical uh, it is what it is so i'm gonna take you inside and show you the results and uh let you know that we are ecstatic so let me take you in so this is the view as you enter from the garage and this was just a like i said a mud room uh, the only thing that was ever really used in here was uh, the the water and food bowl for Badger. Uh, it was just a, an awkward room. The room was already here. I did not build this little this little room, um, but it had no purpose. It was uh, as you come in here, you'll see it's just a a very narrow room. So as you hear the door closing. Uh, so this is what it ended up being. The uh, washer and dryer, uh, our standard size, uh, actually went to uh, Home Depot and Lowe's and measured every single one of their, their washer and dryers and found out that they're, they're all basically a standard size. So uh, the room barely fits it. What it is is it gave us about four extra inches from being the width of the washer and dryer and so if you do remember from our previous episodes in here i was going to take and build a fake wall here but then it, it wouldn't allow you access to the window and that was something mrs t badger was was concerned about she wanted to be able to open and close the the blinds and the window and what have you so what i did was i just was able to push all that a little more towards the wall so that I could get closer to the window and it worked out real well. I don't know if you can see back in here, but this is all my all my plumbing. That's the hookup right there for the washer and dryer. That's the, that's a dedicated outlet just for the washing machine. And then over here, you can't see it, but it's, it's a dedicated uh, line for the dryer. And so everything is done correctly and to code. Everything works and it is just so nice um, the uh, vanity that we got is something at Lowe's basically this whole project was 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 purchased with items from Lowe's but uh, this vanity and top was the the portion I was telling you was hundred and seventy dollars and then the faucet was like 60 and then the mirror was was only 30 or 40 and so uh, and then of course the, the little towel uh, bar uh, was like 20 so you know a large section of the cost actually was this so you know if I didn't want to put in this this here vanity then I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have you know spent as much but it's really nice to come in from the the you know outside or come in from you know doing something on my car what have you and be able to wash your hands in this sink versus going to the kitchen which is directly through this door so this you come in from the garage you're in you enter the laundry room what is now the laundry room and then you go through this door and that's the kitchen and so we generally leave this door open but I didn't want to uh, confuse you with the layout any more than it was so if you come around this solid wall to this back wall here this was just a coat closet and so uh, what what i did here is i took and made this into showing like a pantry and so the wood i was telling you about um, was used in here and this is all just for the, the everybody loves kitchen appliances or maybe it's just us but kind of have a plethora of kitchen appliances and and it's stuff that we use on a regular basis but not enough to keep on the counter and uh, not enough counter space for 
for everything that that we've accumulated but if you look like over here on this side you know you got your crock pot dehydrator you know we uh we use this as a tea maker you know it's just it's things that uh you know just don't get used uh, enough to dedicate space on your countertop every day for because uh, and then of course we have badger's food down here so uh, just a, a nice place to put these things away um, you know uh, everybody has I, I believe I want to say everybody has this uh, this this problem with with needing space for your kitchen appliances that that you just like to have you use frequently but not daily so that covered that scenario what i did was i took the the height of the tallest uh, gadget and just made the shelves all standard which i believe are 16 inches um, if memory serves me right anyway uh one thing i also did was uh i got night lights here just because i thought it kind of set the room off when it's dark in here the uh, night lights which that one won't come on because of window but it's, it's kind of neat anyway uh, I'm just kind of weird like that but anyway that is the laundry room I know, oh another little tip uh, what we did was the this set of uh, washer and dryer I hope it doesn't pick up on a camera but uh, this washer and dryer has been moved so many times across different states and just from moving and whatnot and have you and I'm, and I'm sure just you you know being used so much the um, it'll get little places on it so it had uh, a little bit of a you know scratch here scratch there what have you no dents but just you know scratches but uh, liquid paper touched it up dollar and done so uh, we really like that you can see it if you look real hard but it sure does not look like uh, just black well the spots that where the paint had gotten scratched were just uh, black but now it's white and matches and it's not very visible so um, that turned out well too well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe got an idea uh, maybe spark some interest maybe something that you can do um, and you know if, if, you, if you only want to tackle one portion of it uh, I'll, I'll tell you this we I, I called a plumber out to get a quote on just doing the obviously the plumbing side of this and if if I remember right it was somewhere in the neighborhood of three thousand dollars so um, if you can imagine if you multiply that if I if I had a plumber a, a carpenter and a, an electrician um, it would have been very exp expensive it, it would have been where we couldn't have been able to do this but um, but since I could I decided to do it so um, you know of course if you hire it out it won't take eight months but uh, but you'll save a lot of money so um, as long as you're patient and you, you, you at least know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing don't do it but if uh, if you're patient and uh you you want to do it and you can do it you know um but uh even if you only do a portion of it you'll you, you can you can see you can save quite a bit it's uh it's just really expensive i get these people got to make a living um i'm not i ain't mad at them you know they, they they gotta you know put food on their tables just like we do but um you know if, if you if, if you can at least do one part of it you'll 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 end up saving you a lot of yourself a lot of money and uh and it gives yourself it gives you a lot of pride you know it's uh it's something that every time i walk in i look at and i and i smile real big because it it, it well because it looks nice and it, because it's it's so rewarding to uh, to see that you know that you know we made this happen we you know we did this this is this is uh this is something that didn't exist and now exists and it's uh, it's just wonderful. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, we we have grown an, another uh, subscriber uh, here recently. Whoever you are, we appreciate it. Um, 
we are getting really close to hitting double digits on the on the subscribers and and that that will be another celebration for us so uh, click the subscribe button uh, pound the like button and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure